everyone and thank you for joining me for the second part of setting up our chutes and ladders game and I'm going to include a little clip of a song that I really like that makes me think of this game and it's get back up again because that's really the theme of this game and a little bit of something we talked about in part one and it also ties in to the inspiration that I used to decorate everything on my board so I just wanted to share a little bit of that background too. So since we last met, I worked on my game board a little bit. What I decided to do is I went over all of my numbers and my lines with black marker, which you can do the same with either a black crayon, something that's going to make it stand out against anything that you decide to decorate with. So what I decided to do is I decided to go with an ocean theme. In my life, I'll give you an example. Um, when I was learning how to surf and paddleboard, there were many times where I just fell right down just to get right back up and try it all over again. And it took many, many tries to be able to do that. And also with my artwork, to be honest with you, things don't always turn around, turn out exactly the way that I want them to. And often I'll look at my project and instead of getting rid of it entirely, I'll just see is there a way that I can fix it so I can bounce back and I can make it the way that I want it to look. So this is an example. So what I decided to do was I made the bottom half of my art all ocean themed, a big wave. And what I did was I decided to blend a bunch of different blues and greens, as you can see in there to make kind of aqua shades. And then what I did was I made my sun as the finish because I figured that that was a nice spot to include the sun and it makes you feel like, you know, you accomplish something at the end of the game. So you can choose something that has to do with a hobby that you like. Maybe you like doing things outside. Maybe you like jumping on your trampoline, or maybe you like to learn how to ride your scooter or a skateboard. So that could be a, a theme or an idea that you add to the back of your game board. Another thing I wanted to give you an idea about is that you can also decide to do just a pattern. So if you like stars or rainbows or unicorns or anything like that, you can also just add patterns into the background or to each box. Another idea too is just adding in shapes. One thing, a couple things that I really like are spirals, and I'm actually gonna add that into my board too, because I really like spirals, especially having to do with waves. So I'm going to go ahead in, and in the space that I have left, I'm going to just take one of my markers, that's also kind of an aquamarine color, and I'm going to add some spiral shapes in here. Okay. And another thing I also like to add too are some dots so I'm going to add that in between so again I'm just filling up any empty space where I didn't do any shading or I didn't add in waves or the Sun and I'm just going to add in some pattern so I'll leave that part up to you and I would encourage you or remind you to think of something that's really important to you or really important to your family, something that you enjoy doing. Maybe hiking, if you're a really into hiking, instead of a big mountain of waves, you could do a, a big mountain with trees on it, okay? And then you could keep the sun idea. So we wanna decorate our boards, add in as much color and interest as possible. And then when you're done, I'd love to see a picture of it. Even if you're not done, a work in progress would be great. I'd love to see it on Seesaw. So thanks so much for joining me and I hope you had fun with this project and playing it too.